Hello, beautiful people. Hope so you're all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. In this amazing day, we are going to learn C++ data types and modifiers. First of all, I want to show you the description of data types. In any programming language, you need to use various variables to store various information. Variables are nothing but the reserved memory locations to store values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory, in RAM, random access memory. Okay. When you like initiate any or write any data type, you uh, occupy some space. You reserve some space in the random access memory RAM. Okay, next. You may like to store information of various data type like character, white character, integer, floating point, double floating point, boolean, uh, means 0 and 1. Based on the data types of variable, the operating system allocates memory and decides what can be stored in the reserved memory. The most common data types are these character for alphabets and etc. And integers for 1, 2, 3, and 4. And float are for decimal numbers. And the double is for long numbers. It is the bit, these are the bit width and these are the typical range that these data types boats the correct the bit width of corrected data type is one bit and it's both minus 128 to 127 or 0 to 255 and int have bit width of four bytes however floats have bit width of four bytes and double have bit width of eight bytes and these are the typical ranges However, there are four modifiers, signed, unsigned, short, and long. C++ allow the character int double data types to have modifier preceding them. A modifier is used to alter the meaning of the base type so that it more precisely fits the needs of various situations. The modifier signed, unsigned, long, and short can be applied to integer base types. In addition, Signed and unsigned can be applied to character and long can be applied to double. Okay, first of all, I will show you a program to demonstrate the size of uh, different data types. Okay, so let's move to our Visual Studio. This is the basic structure, the syntax of the C++ programming language. I will determine the bit width size of each character, uh, each data type actually. So, initiate the program. I will print the bit bit value. Size of is a built in function of size of integer, mean int. And uh, Sorry, I need to write here character of n size of integer and size of float and Size of double. So it is double here. So if we run the program, it will give a bit value, bit value of these data types. You can write any one data type we want. Character have one bit, int have four bits, float have four bytes, and double have eight bytes. 
Uh, I will randomly show you the example. Okay. I think so. That's enough. These are the modifiers. Again, I think nothing left. Okay. Like always, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And uh, if you want to test your knowledge of C++ programming queries, obviously, off your benefit, totally. You can download my C++ programming queries app. You can also share it with your friends. And uh, Java students can sh uh, download my jo core Java queries application. Link of both apps will be in comment section. And uh, like always, thanks for watching. Peace.